We're going to go through now our hurdle uh, mobility warm-up. Guys, we're going to come right over here. We're going to start with the short hurdles. Short hurdles, depending on the height of your guys, 24, 21 inches. But when we're doing the short hurdles, we want hands behind your head, and we're picking our knees up nice and high. I should feel like I can stomp on the hurdle. I don't want my knee to the hurdle. I want my foot to the hurdle. Hawk and lead us off. Good. So this warm-up, really like tying, and you can follow right in after. Really like this warm-up in season, low impact. Get some work in uh, the hip mobility, the abdominal stability. Uh, just a really nice in season workout. In season, we generally pair it with some kind of band walks. Pocket, when you're done, just go back to the start of the line. One time through, facing the other direction. So in season, we'll pair this with band walks. Out of season, uh, we'll pair it generally with some kind of our, one of our jump rope warm ups. So half the team's doing. Uh, Hurdle mobility, the other half's doing our jump ropes, and then we switch them out. Again, hands stay behind their head. We want the knees up high. Working hip flexor, abdominal stability. They want to step over the hurdle. You don't want them just stepping around the hurdle. Pick that knee up high and step over it. Good. Hawkins going to come back through. Hands behind his head. We're going to go right leg lead. Again, right leg lead. Knee up high. Knee up high. Don't let that trail leg drag over. Pick that knee up high. Bottom of your foot flat to the hurdle. Good. There you are. A lot of times they can get lose some focus going through this. Athletes can lose focus. It's not really where they're huffing and puffing or anything like that. So a lot of times if they lose focus and they're knocking over hurdles, we'll give them 10 push-ups to do for every hurdle that they knock over. Uh, generally focuses them in pretty quick. Come back to the front, we'll go left leg through, left leg through. Good, knee up high, knee up high. And they can pivot a little bit on, rotate a little bit out of their trunk when they're going forward. Now we have eight hurdles set up like this, that's no big deal. We have eight hurdles set up. <clears throat> I like to do it with ten, but we don't have ten short ones, so eight will work. Uh, it's up to you, whatever you think. Good, knee up high. And then Hocken, we're going to come back, same thing going backwards. Right leg lead, right leg lead going backwards. Knee up high, knee up high. Good. Again, you should never see the bottom of their foot. The bottom of the foot's always facing the ground. Good posture while we keep those hands up there. Right leg lead going back. Good. Step over. Step over. balance, coordination, some strength, some stability, proprioception, see where they are in space, a lot of good things going on. Pocket then will take it, left leg lead. That's okay, that's all, if they're going to step on it, they should smash it straight down, that's all right. Focus, concentrate, no hurry. going to come through next with the toughest one, and that's our bear crawl underneath. So you're going to bear crawl underneath. You've got to keep your butt down. Only my hands and feet can be on the floor. Bear crawl underneath. Go ahead, Hawk. Good. No hurry. At no point in any of these are we trying to race through or rush through. Again, we want to work the mobility, the flexibility, the proprioception. Again, just hands and toes. Don't let them get on the forearm. We don't want forearms. We don't want knees. Obviously, a little bit tougher for the taller athletes, but they can get their butt, butt up a little bit higher in between. Hawking, we're going to take the same thing going backwards. Stability out of our shoulders, strength out of our arms, stability out of our abs, again, coordination. Proprioception, see where we are in space. And again, if they go on a good enough pace at it, they're sweating, they're working. 
again, this would replace our dynamic flexibility or anything else we do on this day. It's a hurdle mobility. There you go. hands are anywhere they want. Want to keep the upper body tall. I'm not just bending over going through it. So Hawkins is going to go sideways facing court. Step over the bar. Drop his butt down and get underneath. Go ahead, buddy. So the pattern is very similar between the short hurdles and the tall hurdles. We go sideways, leading with the right leg, sideways leading left leg, forward leading right leg, forward leading left leg, backward leading right leg, backward leading left leg. We do both of those over the tall and the short hurdles. Facing the track, there you go, Hawking. Butt down, chest up, good. Again, if you have enough, uh, we'd like to have, you know, half the athletes are doing the tall ones, half the athletes are doing the short ones, and then we switch. Uh, but if you don't have uh, enough uh, hurdles in your situation, then, then they can open it. Again, they don't want to get in here and just lean over. That's not, that's not the exercise. Every time they get underneath it, it's like a nice low body weight squat. Next one then is going to be going forward. So when I'm going forward, I'm going to step in front of that bar. My back knee can tap the ground. I don't want to twist or limbo to try and get under the bar. I'm going to push my hips straight back, drop my head and shoulders, and stand back up. Back knee taps, push back, and stand right back up. No twist, no limbo. Right leg knee. Right leg knee. Good. Back knee taps, push hips back. Good. Hips are moving front to back. We're not twisting or turning. Back knee taps, stick the butt back. Good. Nice job, Tom. Mobility in that low position, strength out of the leg that I'm standing up on. All right, and left leg will lead us back. Left leg will lead us back. Boom, stick the butt out. There you go. Good. All right, try and keep those hands on. Posture. Really split those feet nice and wide. And then we're going to come back, and next is going to be our reverse. So we're going to do the same thing but going backwards. So big step back, push the hips back, straighten the leg out, and get on through. Right leg lead, going back. Great activity. If your athletes are stiff, tight, lack mobility, which can happen day after a game, day after a hard practice, a uh, great one to take them through. Hurdle 
lights now are 36 inches. Sometimes we're working with uh, uh, younger age athletes. We can put that down to 33. If you had taller athletes, I mean really tall, 6'6 six, six and above, you could potentially go a little bit higher than 36, but most folks should be able to get under this. Right leg lead going backwards, and we got left leg. A lot of times you'll see this where they alternate the hurdle high and low. That's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. You could do that as well. I just like hitting them all high and then hitting them all low. Either way. Good. There you go, Ty. And then our last one is just a leg straight kick over it. So it's kind of a track thing, but I'm just going to kick my leg up high and get my heel over the hurdle. I don't need to be way in here getting my whole leg over it. Heel over, heel over. Heel over, heel over. You'll see the track do this with the skip in between. We don't need to get quite that fancy. But heel over, heel over. Good. Boom. Boom. Good. Boom. Time to get down there, and then Hawking will do the same thing coming back, same direction coming back. Good. Again, flexibility, mobility, stability, coordination, some. And same thing, bring it back. We're going to get right leg lead coming back. Right. And so we get the idea as they finish. They'll finish that up, then we're good to go. That is our hurdle mobility warm-up.